How's it going my friends? Back with another video for you guys today. Wanted to do an updated what's in my bag for 2020. The wedding season has basically kicked off so far. We've already had one wedding. Next weekend we have two. Uh, we've had engagement shoots every single weekend. We've got a lot of stuff going on. And Sarah and I have kind of changed things up for this year. I have some new gear I want to show you guys. And more specifically, a new bag that I'm like super excited about. If you guys are anything like me, like I spent years trying to find the perfect bag you know, for flash stands, lighting, all that stuff. It just seems like I can never find the right one. Things were getting lost. It was just kind of inconvenient in certain areas, but I think I have found the perfect bag, at least for my lighting equipment. So I really wanna show that for you guys. So the only thing that you're not gonna see here is obviously uh, one of the Z6s with the 14 to 30 lens because I'm gonna be filming this. I'm gonna bring you guys over to my table and I'm gonna show you everything. So the 14 to 30, one of the Z6s, and also the 70 to 200 Z. Now I have ordered the 70 to 200 weeks ago as soon as it came out. Um, and I ordered it through my Nikon Professional Services account, which I don't know if you guys know what MPS membership is, but basically it's for um, Nikon checks out your business, make make sure you're an actual photographer, and you get like you know basically a recognized status with them, where they'll ship you priority lenses, uh, priority repairs, things like that. But uh, my MPS membership is attached to my order, so I should be getting it like the first shipment out to my local camera store. So you're not going to see that right now because obviously I don't have it, but that is going to be with us for the 2020 season and beyond. So I'm going to flip you guys around and I'm going to show you everything that we're working with for 2020. And as always, if you have any questions, just drop them in the comments. I'd be happy to uh, answer them for you. Let's go, guys. So this is what we're rolling up to every single wedding in 2020 with. Three bags. One, two, three. Two for camera gear and one for lighting. Now, this is the most minimalist setup. We've been looking for the ideal minimalist setup forever. We used to use roller bags, and I don't know if you guys have used roller bags, but especially on job sites, weddings, they're a pain in the ass. Having to like roll a bag with you, they bump into people, they're not easy to maneuver around, and the thing with the wedding is you wanna make sure that you're nimble and quick because you're bouncing around to different locations all the time. So we've been looking for the perfect bag setup, and I think we actually found it here. I'm gonna go through this stuff with you you and I'm going to show you guys how we organize it. So let's start with this. This is my Manfrotto. This is my bag. This one's Sarah's. She's got the backpack. I have the messenger bag. This thing I love. I've been using it for years because it's super easy to carry around. Just flip this back up over here. Also it has a zipper right on the top so you can access everything. Like if there's a ceremony going on and you want to be quiet, you don't want to be opening the Velcro, you can just have this open and grab your stuff out of it. So, if you open this up, this is what we have first. We have both of our black rapid straps. I have one, Sarah has one. These are absolutely indispensable. We love these things way better than the Peak Designs. Black rapid straps are really, really nice. So, this is my bag. We have the 518S. I just have a neck strap right here. This is for my secondary camera. The other one is on the Black Rapid. But I got this, you know, the Z6 with the Mike grip, which obviously I've done videos on this before. It adds this great chunkiness that doesn't go across the whole thing. It's just for the bottom and your pinky, which is great for speed lights. Adding speed lights on here, I have a more of a grip on it, and I just really like the way it feels. So the Mike grip is great. We got the 518S as well. So this is my camera. And then we also have the 3518S and another Z6 duplicate with the Mike grip also. So Sarah doesn't use the Mike grips because her hands are small enough, but mine are bigger, so I really do have to have it, and it's just way more comfortable. So I would recommend everybody getting one of these. There, or you know, depending on one for each one of your cameras, because they're not that expensive. They're only like 45 bucks, and they really make a big difference. And I did a whole video on it too, so you guys can check that out. All right, so we got the 35, the 50, two Z6s, and then my macro lens. This is what I use for detail shots, rings, things like that. It's a 60 uh, 2.8D lens. Uh, this does not autofocus on the Z6, but that's fine. I don't need it to. I manual focus everything with this. It's a great lens. You can get super close up. Uh, we use lighting with it, so it doesn't. I don't worry about my shadow like getting in the way of anything because the 60 it doesn't have like a longer reach for like the 105. But the 60 is fine. I'm waiting for the Z macro lens anyways, so I don't want to spend the extra money on the 105 if I don't need it. It's a very cheap lens. You can get them for like 170 bucks on eBay. I think I got this for like 
160 actually, which is a great deal. But I have the FDZ adapter that just stays on this and stays in my bag. I do use this for close up portraits sometimes with you know extra lighting, uh, but mostly this is for detail shots. Okay, so I have that, and this bag just goes with me everywhere. Once I have my cameras mounted on me with my Black Rabbit and then one around my neck, then I can put like an extra flash in here or a light or something like that and just kind of throw it over my back. And it's very, very small and light. It has other front pockets where we keep like business cards, things like that. Um, you know, and just bat I keep all my batteries in here for us also. There's a zipper on the back right here, and then all of our batteries just are in the back here. We carry eight extra batteries, eight extra batteries on every wedding. Never been close to using all of them. The Z6 is awesome with the uh, battery life. So let me put that down here. Next one is Sarah's bag. This is just a regular backpack, but it has a lot of space. She's li she likes throwing, throwing it over her uh, back with this. It just makes it easier for her to carry around. So we have this. We have her one of her cameras, the Z6. Um, Without the grip, obviously, like I said, we have a, just a regular neck strap that kind of attaches onto this for her. And uh, this right here is a Sigma 24 Art 1.4. And like I said, her other camera I'm filming with right now, it's another Z6 and the 14 to 30, because I really needed something wide here. But the 14 to 30 S lens is what we use on the dance floor. It's it's an unbelievable lens. It's small, compact, it's very, very sharp, it's very accurate with the focusing in low light, and it's just perfect for the dance floor. So the 14 to 30, 1.8, or I'm sorry, 14 to 30 F4, and the Z6 is what you're not seeing right now. But this is one of Sarah's other cameras that fits right in here. Then we have this for um, portraits. This is the uh, Nikkor 135 3.5 AIS lens. This lens is just, I haven't done a video on this, but this lens is just so crazy. It's got the metal lens hood built in with the felt right here that just helps with the absorb the light. And it's just such a smooth, smooth as balls, man. Like this thing is so nice. And with the focus peaking, I'm able to really use this a lot for portraits in ways that I wasn't before. You know, when we have the DSLRs with just that focus dot in the bottom left side, it's not as easy to use manual focus lenses. It really takes more focus in what you're doing and more, you know, intention to actually get it right rather than focusing on the moments. But with the focus peaking, I can use this and really just nail. I've done whole engagement shoots with just this. But I love the focal length. The 135 is great. It's sharp as hell. This is a really nice copy. And I don't use it every wedding, but I do have it with me just in case. So we bring that. Also, I have a uh, 5018D. So this also does not focus autofocus on the Z6, but I bring it because we free lens with this sometimes. Now, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the free lensing technique, but basically I could do a whole video on it. Let me know if you guys have not seen it before, but it's a basically a way to make a tilt shift, tilt, tilt shift effect without a tilt shift lens. It's a little dangerous on the Z6 because you have an open sensor here, but basically you're gonna take off your lens. So you have just an open mount right there. And then you're gonna hold this in front of the lens with the gap or in front of the, the camera body. Actually, let me just show you real quick. I'm gonna do a whole video on this guys and I'll show you some examples. But basically what you're gonna do is hold it like this, hold the lens out and then kind of move it around and you can get some really cool flare effects and some different type of like tilt shift effects. We use this sometimes. It's a it's a spice that we use sometimes, but I have this lens, very cheap lens and good lens in there just in case we are going to free lens. Also, we have the uh 85 18S. This lens is absolutely incredible. I, I don't see any reason why we would need the 1.4S when it comes out. This thing is insane. The bokeh is insane. The actual image quality is insane. The sharpness is insane. Everything is insane about this lens. It's so, so good. So this thing stays in the bag constantly. Sarah has been on this a lot. And uh, like I said, you're not seeing the 70 to 200 2.8 Z lens, obviously because it's not out yet, but we did order it. So that will be coming with us to weddings as well. Here's a speed light. Um, I've done in other videos, we label our speed lights. So when I'm using a trigger, I know that, um, you know, I don't have to worry about which group it is. I know that group B is for backflash. So when we're setting something up, this will always go 
towards the back if we're going to use a back flash and I can change it on my trigger. So we're ca only carrying two speed lights with us and I'll explain why but this is one of them. This goes right in the bag here. In the front we have, I carry two cases right here for our XQD cards. Okay, we have one that says new and one that says used. So if we're on a job and we fill up one of the cards, we put it in the used case. And if we need another one, we put it in the new case. So these are the ones that haven't been used yet. These are the ones that have been used. So we know exactly not to put one in and format it, but we do check. When we put a new card in on a wedding, we always press play and see what's on it first and make sure it's blank. Never format it before we look at exactly what's on the card. But we have these, um, you know, on the wedding if we need to change cards. This right here, we have a MagMod uh, MagSphere. This is great. Um, we slap this on the top of our speed lights. The only time I really use this to diffuse the light, it's not it's not great, it's not the best diffuser out there, but it's super easy and the image quality is pretty good, so I use it because it's so easy. You just literally slap it right on there. So I use this on introductions into the reception. You know, when the best man and the you know, the, the groomsmen and all the wedding party get introduced, I usually go up to them with a speed light on top and I walk back and move with them and I use this to kind of just bounce the light up and diffuse it. So this works well, so I bring it. And then also, I have this, which we use a lot, which is a snoot. It's a mag snoot from MagMod. So this thing's great because it really focuses in the light. So instead of having a big spread, even if I need to get it more contained than just throwing a grid on it, I'll use this. And this really just kind of puts a, just a small beam of light, like wherever I, wherever I want it. We use this a lot, so I always bring this thing. And then, let's see here. In this pocket, let's see what we got. This is Sarah's bag, so I'm not even 100% sure. We got a trigger in here. This is our trigger. We have two of these, the um, X1T. We don't even have the new ones because these ones just work so well and reliably. There's no really reason to upgrade. These things are only like 40 bucks, and they're just they're still reliable and they're still kicking after years. So we use these. And I think that's it. Oh, like I said, this is Sarah's bag. She got some lipstick in there too. All right, so that's that bag. And then. This is one of the biggest things that I wanted to show you guys right here. Move this out of the way. So, this is the Strobius 85 bag. Now this is brand new. Instead of using a roller bag, we're going with this for all of our flash stands and our lighting equipment. So, one of the best things about this is it's like a canvas material. It's super, super durable. It's like really easy to carry around. You have a uh, you know, thing right here, you can a loop where you can grab, and then you have one over the shoulder. So you just pick it up, throw it over you, and you got it. Very, very good quality material. And there's plenty of room for everything, so check this out. So the zipper comes down, opens up. And this is what I have in here. I have another speed light. This is the second one that we bring. We have MagMod attachments. These are, you know, my Let's see here, all my gels that I have, different colored gels and uh, gel holders and a grid right here. We actually have two grids, but we left one at our last wedding and they're sending it back to us. But I just keep them in a bag right here, so if I need them. And then we got three stands here, okay? We have the Manfrotto Nano Stand. Now this, this, I have a love-hate relationship with this thing because it's a very, very nice stand. All these are on air ride, so they don't smash down if you drop it. Um, it's a quality stand, and it's very nice, and it has a small footprint, but it doesn't go up very high. This thing only goes up like seven feet, which, you know, if, if, if we're having a light directionally at somebody's face, and, you know, it can work, and we do use it. Uh, we use this because it's very quiet and easy to move around. It has a very small footprint. But if you need something that's going to go up high, and you know, even at the seven feet, like totally extended, it's a little bit wobbly. This is better around six feet. But if you need something that doesn't go very high and has a small footprint, this is excellent. So we have a nano stand here, and then we have two. Let me get this out for you guys. So we have two C10 cheetah stands so these extend to 10 feet and these are like workhorse ones i don't know if you guys have ever used cheetah stands but they are awesome 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 stands so the best thing about these is i'll show you guys after i move this bag at the end but basically instead of having to open this up open the base up 
you just put it down on the ground and it opens up for you which is the best because you don't have to deal with like you know clearing out something to put the footprint down you can kind of just drop it and then it just creates the footprint itself it's very nice but these are high quality stands they're not too heavy but when they're extended all the way to 10 feet you can still use them they're very nice so we have two of these in the bag right here so let's talk about side pockets what we have are three of these bad boys okay so Sarah and I have ex been experimenting with continuous lights for first dances and for speeches um, for speeches we don't like to light with flashes because we like to try different angles and also we are sharing flashes when we're setting them up and triggering them wirelessly we don't like to share flashes because it's both of us we shoot a lot we're at different angles we don't like to have just flashes going off I shoot one, she shoots two, I shoot two, she shoots one, back and forth, back and forth. So we're experimenting with continuous lights. These things are pretty amazing so far. We just got these in the mail. We have three of them. They're the Came TV Boltson 55 watt continuous lights. They come with the barn doors right here, which are really nice. These are LEDs, like a fre Frenzel or Fresnel. And so you can kind of zoom the light in and out with it, plus you have the barn doors to focus it even more. It's a very, very bright, very bright light. And also the good thing is, is you can use them with batteries. So these take the NFP style uh, or NPF style Sony batteries. These ones are knockoff ones, but they work out great. When I got this, I charged these fully and I tested it with these and you get about an hour of 100% power for every battery, which is awesome. I got six, so I have two for each. These obviously aren't gonna stay on the whole time in the reception. You just like, turn them on for first dances, turn them on for speeches, turn them on for dance floor stuff and that's good. You know, they just go right here so you don't have to find a power outlet or anything like that and they just power on and they're very, very bright. I mean, these, and you can just kind of put the intensity up or down. Like I said, you can kind of focus the light, make it smaller, make it bigger. They're very nice lights. So we have three of these things. And the good thing is, you know, they're not that heavy and we can fit them in these pockets. Okay, so they just literally just go right in. And with these on the bottom ones, you can keep the yokes on. They come with the yokes right here for, the, um, for your flash stands. And so, you know, I just keep them right in here in this bag and they fit fine. You can carry them around. So we have one here, one here, one here. And then also we keep all our batteries in here. So these batteries, yeah, they're kind of big and they're kind of heavy pain in the butt, but you know what I mean? Like it's just what it is. If you want big batteries that are going to last you for a while, you know, have not having to constantly switch them, you know, it is what it is. So. This is the bag, guys. This thing is awesome. I really think this is probably the best bag we've ever found. It just goes right over your shoulder. I want to show you how the cheetah stands work right here. So basically what you're going to do, if you guys see, boom. That's the best thing about the cheetah stand. Pick it up like that. I know it's probably really loud with the microphone, but like that. They sit right down. You need to move them. Pick it up and they are good to go. And these are 10 foot stands, but they collapse pretty good. I mean, that's like what, less than a yard stick. So pretty nice. So guys, this is what we're gonna be using for 2020. All the stuff is coming with us, three bags, very minimalist equipment, and uh, you know, it's really working for us. So we're excited about this year. If you have any questions on any of this stuff, we are gonna be doing a full review on the Came TV continuous light setup and how we actually light everything for these and we're gonna do some behind the scenes stuff at our weddings coming up so you guys will get to see how they work but I want to just do we've only done an engagement shoot with the came TV lights so far so I want to do a full wedding with them and then give you guys my feedback but that in-depth review is coming so hopefully this is helpful to you guys any other questions drop them in the comments and let me know and uh, until the next video my friends